you know, this is what my boss tells me. So if you can ha harvest conduits for bypass surgery, why can't you harvest a donor heart for a transplant? So we are one of the most busiest uh, transplant units in the country. Uh, and we do uh, kind of around 70, 75 transplants every year. There's something called the uh, superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. So we have to have uh, as much length of both of it as possible. There's always a tussle for the inferior vena cava because uh, the, usually the liver is also harvested. So they also need a bit of the, of the inferior vena cava. So there's always a tussle between us and the liver surgeons as to how much we have to cut, how much they have to take. There have been times when, you know, um, we had reached the donor site. Uh, we were waiting there. This was a, a four-year-old kid. So we were seeing for a three-year-old kid. So it's, it's difficult to get pediatric donors, uh, a brain dead donor, size matching for, for a young kid. So this, this kid was very sick, quite sick, and was waiting for quite some time. So we have to make sure that it is, you know, mutual. You know, we make uh, a mutual understanding in the beginning that I'm going to cut here, just above the level of the diaphragm is mine, below the level of the diaphragm is yours. <laughs> so sometimes in a kind of a frenzy, uh, at that moment we tend to get a, cut a little more and uh, they kind of get a little... Uh, 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 you know, angry at us. Initially, we went and assessed. The heart was very good, and it was kind of perfect match for this kid. This was a three-year-old kid, four-year-old. We thought, okay, jackpot. Uh, we, you know, we're gonna. Uh, this kid is gonna do well. This is very sick also. So that is where we do. So all the great vessels are chopped off, and the last to be uh, cut out is the left atrium. So we, that is the posterior here, if you can see this area. So one, this roof part of it is left behind. And uh, just at the level of pulmonary veins, we cut, chop all the pulmonary veins and take out the heart. That's how we do it. By the time the process got over and the donor was ready to be shifted, the heart had completely deteriorated. So this function was too bad that it was not fit for harvesting. So this kid could not get that heart and this kid didn't get um, any other matching, matching heart. Th these things are not under our control. You know, there's too many factors beyond our control.